my cubs as it's hanging. So before I crack on with today's video, I don't want to make it too long. Uh, I just want to get a few messages out there. So first of all, thank you for those who turned to my live stream last Saturday. It was 380 people that turned up. A few questions were asked. Um, a few answers were given. Also, thank you to my subscribers. 2,000 subscribers I've achieved so far, which is a personal achievement to myself. Didn't think I'd get over 200 subscribers, never mind 2,000. When I started in August last year, because, you know, I'm only guy with a phone and a headset. Uh, but thank you for all that. Two apologies. I apologise for my live stream. It disconnected three or four times due to bad weather in England at 2 a.m. And an apology for my sore throat. I did have a cold, so I can promise next time it'll be a hell of a lot better. So uh, I apologise for that. Uh, I have received a few messages in my Discord from some, I don't know if it's some subscribers or viewers, I can't see who subscribed to my channel. But a few people have asked, like, what do I look like? Now, I'm not at the point yet where I would share my image with other people because... Like I said, I'm only a small YouTuber, I've only got 2k subscribers, I'm not massive, we are not throwing myself out there. But how about I do you a deal? If you guys can help me achieve a realistic clear of 5,000 subscribers, then I will send out a personal thank you message of myself as a video. So it won't be a screenshot or a screen recording of a game. It'll be me, myself, showing you showing my appreciation for helping me promote my channel uh, outside and also if you want to find me messages on discord for other games or anything else i can help i can help with strategy i do play shooter games like cod mobile and free fire so you know hit me up on discord recommend some games and i'll be able to share experiences with you so without further ado we are going to speed this up for you. I'm going to put on times eight because it, it is a elite war all the way through. So this is against Nation 99, the Alliance AOD. We declared on them. Now, when we declared on them, I we just assumed it was going to be like another easy elite war. But quite a few of them turned up. So as you can see there, we won the first battle at base seven. And now we're rushing for base 11. We win that battle. Let me get cocky and go for the base 13. Now, obviously, the problem going for the bases near the main four is you can lose easy by getting staggered. Now, this alliance here was they were they were on the ball. They knew the strategies, they knew stagger, they knew time attack, they knew speed attack, they knew how to delay us on other forts and everything. So it was not as typical elite war. It wasn't just a smash through it, get to the base and win within a few minutes. This was a full through and through fight. It was just pure battling all the way through. And when I say battling, I mean literally every battle lasted, it felt like forever because there was that many staggering attacks going off. The troops weren't dying. Everyone was just like, they were rock solid. It was probably one of the best elite wars I personally have ever been participated in. It was so good until the end, but as always, I don't just share the good elite wars, I do share the bad ones as well, just so you all can see, like I said, I'm mostly based a strategy guy, I love my strategy stuff, I love everything about the, that type of game. So as you can see here, we rush to the main base again, or near the main base, and we lose yet again. This battle was just pure, through and brutal. But it was just amazing. So as you can see here, we start to rush to middle again. The battle for the middle was quite a difficult battle, not just for our side, but for their side as well. As you can see here, they rushed to base 7 and they actually enabled them to move forward to our base 3 for the first time. Which got us quite worried because obviously, as you know, they get close to 4, we're getting close to losing. So we start rushing them. Base three, tried to delay them, give us time and guys to recover. They won a few battles, then rushed our base five, which, as you can see here, we were prepared for them. We did a counter attack to get them away from our main base. A few rushed in, and there we go. Pushed them away from our main base. 
no one likes him as being that close to them in base because it's that step close to losing. Uh, if you like this video, I just want to chuck in there. Can you please like it and subscribe to my channel? Please feel free to share it to your friends or anybody else you know who would like this, find this game interesting. Uh, or any friends who play other different games, which can recommend them to me to try new games. Help you guys get interested in some other games as well. So as you can see here, they go back to his main uh, new main base again. We've got quite a bit on edge here because this is the second time they're up near our main base. Then look at this. They all start rushing. Didn't realise how many people was at the four or five and how many we refreshed. So we just chased them away. Then they start rushing base one. As you can see here, I got there first. By the time the rest of my mind's got there, I had apparently no troops left. So I don't know how I was still there. So I had to refresh my whole troops again. So what happens when you speed too fast. As you see here now, we start to rush for the middle again because we need that edge. The middle is our security blanket of keeping all the forts. So you can see here, we all gather at three, make sure they're at three. Then once we're at three, we then push towards seven to enable us to capture the middle center again. So you can see here. We all recall because the times were shockingly off, even for a stagger. Then we rush it again. Try to do the stagger effect yet again. The enemy were doing the same thing. So it was all a good stagger attack from both sides. We won again. I recommend here we actually take the middle base, but you know, the guys wanted to rush forward to 13. And actually, yeah, so as soon as 13 won, some rushed to 13 and 9. It just got messy from there because now this is where everyone stopped listening and then once I doing their own things. As you see, we've only got five minutes left on the clock to win this. We're down by three bases and the enemy was still going strong. See there, they took the top base there coming through the top end at base four. And as you see now, last few minutes, everyone's getting scattered everywhere. We're down by now by five bases. The enemy is defending four perfectly. Just want to set to AOD. You guys were a real challenge. We found it really interesting. Although it didn't end up the way we wanted it to end, it, the battle was just immense through and through. Like I said, by far the best Elite Wars I've ever played. All strategy based on both sides, well organised on either side. Unfortunately, the enemy just got that edge on us. We ended up losing. So I said during the middle of the video, if you, could, if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Feel free to share with any friends, families, anybody you know, even within your nation. Please share my content. Like I said at the start, if I do hit 5k subscribers, I will do a video of myself with a thank you message to you all. But until then, see you in the next video. Take care, cubbies.